All right, guys, welcome back to Bite Size News. It's LP giving you more to chew on and chew on this. And I'm so excited for this, guys. Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai Never Dies, Season 5, coming here on, I believe, September the 9th, so less than a week away. Roth, Machio, William Zapka on Chosen Burns Returns. Uh, so if you haven't, first of all, let me just say, if you haven't been watching Cobra Kai, then you are missing out on what I consider, it's just my opinion, one of the best shows on current modern day television ever. If you are a fan of the Karate Kid franchise, the movies growing up, you will absolutely love it. If you're a little bit younger, maybe you've never seen the Karate Kid, they have a stellar younger cast that is the torch is being passed to and they're just amazing and they will take the franchise even further. When Cobra Kai was announced, it was initially a, a YouTube Red series. And they did a couple seasons and it was kind of cool. And then YouTube decided to go a different direction. But Netflix picked up Cobra Kai. I think it was during season three. And this has just exploded, man. And there's so much going on. And we're going to get into all of it. Uh, so let's dive deep, man. From our friends, good friends here over at Bleeding Cool. The stakes are even higher in season five of Cobra Kai as Daniel LaRusso calls on his own reinforcements. Turning to his one-time former rival, Chosen, uh, you know, you might remember Chosen from Karate Kid number two. After Terry Silver's dojo emerges victorious, and Miyagi Do and Eagle Fang are forced to shut down. So, spoiler alert: if you haven't been watching, in season four, we see the return of Terry Silver, the the corny villain from Karate Kid three. I never liked the Karate Kid 3 movie. I just thought it was lame, to be honest with you. But what they've done with Terry Silver now has just been amazing. They turned him from a cheesy 80s villain to a diabolical, almost like mastermind. And it's been pretty cool to watch him sort of unfold and take charge. Daniel faces an even more uncertain future with another rival turned ally in Johnny Lawrence turns uh, AWOL. Not knowing if he's off trying to find a student Miguel in Mexico. So yeah, Miguel decides, he's one of the younger cast, decides that he's going to go find out who his real dad is. He was, you know, training underneath Johnny Lawrence when Johnny Lawrence had first brought back Cobra Kai. And uh, he disappears. And of course, Miguel's mother is all worried about him. And Johnny, you know, says, don't worry, I'll go find him and takes his son, Robbie, on a father-son trip to go rescue Miguel. And I, I imagine we'll see a lot of that in the first two or three episodes of Cobra Kai season five. What we do know is that not only is Okmoto returning to help, but we also have another major return with uh, Mike Barnes being played by Sean Cannon, who once tormented a young Daniel during the events of Karate Kid Part 3. Macho and Zaka spoke to Bleeding Cool about Chosen's and Barnes' returns, with Macho working with the two again on Zaka's Johnny's sharing scenes with them for the very first time. So this is kind of cool, you know what I mean? So basically, we're, we're sort of bridging the gap between the three movies here. You know, you have, of course, Daniel uh, being the focal point, Johnny Lawrence, the villain from Karate Kid 1, Chosen, the villain from Karate Kid 2, and then Mike Barnes, the, the villain from Karate Kid 3, all sort of coming together and no one really knows what Mike Barnes role is going to be in this yet, but I suspect he's actually going to help Daniel go against uh, Terry Silver and his six new senseis that he's got rocking. Uh, so here we see uh, all of them sort of lined up. It's great. Yuji's uh, turn in season three, sort of the 180 flip of Chosen and then becoming an ally for Daniel LaRusso as he calls in reinforcements at the end of season four. What a joy to play and connect with him, Machio said. I think we felt uh, season three uh, within three lines of dialogue and the first scene we shot. We were already starting to talk about how Chosen is coming back in a big way. And if you like, it, go watch the, uh, the last five minutes of season four and you'll see what, what they're talking about. It's exciting to have that and to have UG on set and Sean. I haven't seen in a long time. Everyone brings their A game. It's really inspiring to see everyone come to the table and then raise the bar. And it helps the evolution of storytelling. I'll tell you what else helps this show. Not only are they bringing back nostalgia, but they're not just throwing it in your face. You know, like, hey, here's another guy. Ha, ha, ha. The writing is done so well. It just fits. It, ju it just comes together. It's great pacing to this show there's some great ups and downs there's some great twists and surprises you know it really does feel like a true blue continuation of the karate kid franchise to go on they say it's uh so it's been better than i could have imagined um 
Yeah, I mean, I I agree. Now, this is coming from uh, from Ralph Macchio talking about Chosen here. Uh, I know, and then now they talk about Mike Barnes. I know Sean before he even got into Karate Kid Three. In fact, I remember I met him on a different show. He was doing a guest spot on something, and this is uh, from Johnny Lawrence. He says, "Anyway, I knew Sean for a while, but never met Thomas. Knew UG well. I was fans of theirs of the film, the Karate Kid franchise, as their characters. So I get to rub arms with them on screen, and it's just been really fun. What a joy and all that." It's kind of like me when we get to talk to uh, different comic book creators on this show when we do our live shows. You know, we get to rub elbows with people who we thought we would never get to rub elbows with. And I'll just do one name drop. We're having Eric Larson on September 5th, you know. Uh, so depending on when you see this video, it's either before or after. But Eric Larson, September 5th, we get to rub elbows with one of the image founders. Mind-blowing. Um, let's see here. So it's been a lot of fun. They're total professionals. They come prepared and ready to go in and they're killing it. I especially love my stuff with Yuji because that's the stuff where I get to have a conversation, not just being a fight or flight mode. We also have some fun things where Johnny and Chosen get to go arm in arm. That was exciting. They're just great. They show up and they're thankful to be there. And then they're just bringing it to another level. It's a win-win love fest, really. Yeah, it seems like these guys are really excited to, uh, you know, reunite you know it's like you know you retire for 10 20 years from maybe a chosen profession or or your industry and then there's an opportunity to come back and then you come back with a new new you know new fire lit underneath your ass if you will ready to go ready to, you know to take charge i mean we're all older now right i mean i was a you know a young kid when i saw karate kid you know for the first time i remember seeing karate kid 2 in the movie theater you know um and I feel like I've almost grown with, with these characters. I, I mean, I relate to Johnny Lawrence the most. Only I, I don't have the, the karate skills that he has or, or a Camaro. But, you know, um, just struggling to find yourself as you get older. You know, that midlife crisis. The what am I going to do next uh, is all problems that, I, that I've certainly faced. And so I, I get a kick out of watching Johnny struggles because... I, I, I somewhat similar, you know, somewhat suffer, I should say, through similar struggles in, in my life, you know. So, guys, go check out Cobra Kai Season 5 starts on Netflix. Go binge the whole thing. And I'll, I'll tell you this. We will definitely do a live show after me and members of the BC have all watched it. You know, I'll bring on a crew and we will dissect the show episode by episode and give our thoughts on Season 5 as a whole. Uh, you know, unlike Disney, you know, they don't release these weekly. They'll, they'll drop it all at once. So I imagine I'll have it all watched within a day or two. And then we'll let you know when we're going live to talk about Cobra Kai Never Dies Season 5. And what we can look forward to in our speculations, of course, for Season 6. So that's it for now. Uh, tune in again very soon for more bite-sized news as we give you more to chew on real soon. Peace out.